little scientists. Welcome back to Science with Sarah. Have you ever wondered how plants get their energy or what parts of the plant are involved in this process and why this process is so important for plants and other animals? We're gonna answer all of these questions today with science as we learn about a process called photo Synthesis. Photosynthesis is a process that plants use to make food for themselves using sunlight. Plants take water and carbon dioxide from our air and they produce sugar and oxygen. So plants essentially breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. This is the opposite of what humans do. We inhale oxygen that the plants release and we breathe out carbon dioxide that the plants need for food. And the oxygen that plants provide us is only one of the reasons why photosynthesis is so important. Since plants use carbon dioxide to produce food, they help control the amount of carbon dioxide that's in our atmosphere. This is important in controlling climate change and our Earth's temperature. Photosynthesis is also important for us as humans. The sugars that plants produce through the process of photosynthesis give our bodies the nutrients that we need to grow. Photosynthesis begins when carbon dioxide enters the plant. This happens on the surface of a leaf where there are thousands of tiny little holes on the leaf called stomata. You can think of these as doorways into the leaf. At the other end of the plant, deep, deep down underground, roots are absorbing water from the surrounding dirt. This water then travels up the root stem and to the leaves. Inside each leaf are thousands of plant cells. And inside those plant cells are dozens of these tiny green structures that are called chloroplasts. These tiny green chloroplasts are what make leaves the color green. As sunlight hits the surface of these leaves, these tiny green chloroplasts get really, oh really boy. excited. And what they do is they capture this energy and they use it for the process of photosynthesis. This sunlight energy helps to transform that water and carbon dioxide into sugar and oxygen. The sugar is food for the plant, whereas the oxygen is the waste of the plant. But remember, it's something that we as humans need to breathe in. So it's a win for everyone. Because the parts of photosynthesis are so, so small to see, it's really hard to visualize the process. But we can do an experiment right in our backyard to help us see how photosynthesis works. All you need for this experiment is a bowl, some water, a rock, and a leaf. Let's go. All right, we got our leaf, our bowl, a rock, and some water. The leaf should be around the size of your hand. Place the leaf in a bowl and fill that bowl with water. Add a rock on top of the leaf to help it sink to the bottom of the bowl. Leave the bowl in the sunlight for a few hours. And that's it, now we just have to wait. When you check back after a few hours, you should see tiny bubbles on the surface of the leaf. So what's going on here? As plants create sugar, they get rid of all of the waste that they don't need. And this includes oxygen. Because oxygen is a gas, when it leaves the leaf, it forms tiny little bubbles on the surface of the leaf. This is similar to the bubbles that you see when you exhale underwater in a pool. And since oxygen is lighter than air, those tiny bubbles full of oxygen will soon make their way to the surface of the water. And there you have it. Now you know how plants create their very own food through a process called photosynthesis. And you've learned why this process is especially important for animals and humans. You also got to see photosynthesis in action as we created our very own plant experiment. See you next time on Science with Sarah.